How's it going YouTube? It's Chunky here and today's video we're going to be talking about this device right here. This is the Moto G uh, Amazon variant that has all of the really pain in the neck lock screen ads like these ones when you turn it on and off really stinks. So anyway, we're going to show you guys how to remove this off of your Moto G 4th gen Amazon variant with a very simple and easy process. Let's go do this. So let me show you guys this simple method. So basically, um, here it is, Moto G 4th uh, Gen. We're just going to go ahead and go into a Chrome file browser or file Internet Explorer kind of thing, Explorer. Um, and we're going to go to this site. So this is my website. This is rootjunkiessdl.com. And I uh, just wanted to show you where I'm at. And I'll link this file exactly in the video description down below. So it's actually the second one where it says no ads to APK. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And go ahead and set uh, update permissions if uh, you haven't done this already. And go ahead and say yes to keep this file or click OK. And then go to open. And it's going to go ahead and open up the APK that's going to remove these ads. So just before I, so you can show you what I'm talking about. I mean, if you aren't aware, these ads, I'll show you. You'll see them uh, when we erase this thing and we lock the screen. So you'll see, ready? Here we go. There it is. There's those dumb ads that we really, really hate and we want to get rid of. So... We're just going to go ahead and click on the APK. It says it's going to in block the block the install, so we're going to go to settings. We're going to come in here. We're going to check unknown sources. Hit OK, and then go back, and then we're going to click on the application again. Amazon Ad Remover. Hit install, and this is going to go ahead and install the Amazon Ad Remover. If you get this, go ahead and hit accept. A little prompt. You may get it. You may not, depending on if you're just initially setting up your device or not. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and hit open. And it's going to go ahead and open up this funny looking application with this weird dog on it. So it's very simple. There's just three steps. You just click on them. So run step one, hit OK. And basically what's going to happen now is it's going to run the exploit. So talking about exploits. So what is this app doing, right? Well, how is it removing the ads from the device? So I'm going to explain that. Basically what's happened here is a guy over on XEA has compiled this application and added in an exploit called Dirty Cow. And basically what happens here is this exploit can override and rewrite a file. So what this developer has done in creating this application is gone ahead and wrote that to rewrite a file that basically gets rid of the ads. It, it, it might even get some kind of temporary root access to do it. I'm guessing that's what it's getting. And it's using that to delete all the ad files or applications that are creating the ads on your lock screen by Amazon. And once that's done, they'll be gone. So it is a little bit um, unstable, I would say, as an application. I've had problems with it where it doesn't fully work. Um, if you're having issues removing the ads, I'm going to tell you what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to go back to Root Junkie SDL, and I'll put a link for this as well. And I'm going to give you the stock Amazon firmware for the Moto G 4th Gen. And that firmware you'll be able to flash to this device and restore to 100% stock, and then the application should function after you do that. I've had problems where if I don't do that, um, it'll get screwy and it won't actually fully remove the ads. So just be aware, if you get a failure, you get stuck on step two, that should fix the problem for you. Um, this process is going to take a couple more minutes, so I'm going to let it run and we'll come right back to it when it's done. Okay, there you go, guys. You can see the doggy is <laughs> whatever this thing's name is. I really should know what it is. I've seen it online enough. Uh, it's completely done. It's all colored, lit up. It says to run step two. So we're going to go ahead and click that button. And it says it's going to restart. So let's just go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to do a restart of the phone. Um, basically, this like solidifies the changes and allows it to like firm up those things, make sure that Dirty Cow is in place, and just finish the removal. Um, so not a big deal. I mean, you're going to see it boot up. Now, it's not actually a... What's interesting is it's not actually a full reboot. It's like a soft boot is what it's actually doing here. Um, probably something with how they're utilizing it and making sure it's functioning right. So just interesting to note. So you can see there's no ads on the screen right now. And we're going to come back into the application. Go ahead and click on it. And it loads up. And then you can see it says to run step three right here. And this will fully remove the ads completely off the device. Now, a quick note for you. When it first reboots here, if you only see, uh, if step two is still showing, not step three for run step three, just come out and like open and close the application a couple times and give it maybe like a minute. 
and I think what's going to happen is it's going to finish up a process in the background for the application and it'll change to step three. So that's my pro tip for you right there. So we're going to go ahead and hit uh, run step three and this is going to reboot the phone one last time and this should fully remove the Amazon ads off your lock screen. So that's pretty much the process guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm just going to show you here when it boots up that they are officially gone. Um, if you're interested in following some of my work, um, I've done stuff on removing the ads on this previously by flashing OEM images. You can check out a whole bunch of stuff at rootjunkie.com. Obviously, my download paid rootjunkiesdl.com and so on. So there you go. That should be good. Let's go ahead and just open up the application and look. I think it's, yeah, everything says it's done. So you are good. The Amazon or ads should be completely gone off of your lock screen at this point. And the one thing I'd like to point out about it, now that they are fully removed, is you don't want to take OTA updates. Um, if you take an OTA update to the device, it's very likely, or almost for sure, that your ads are going to be restored, and you'll start seeing lock screen ads once again. Now, it's possible that you'll be able to run the application again and remove them, but it's also possible that they patch that bug that we use to remove the ads, and it won't work anymore. So, just a heads up, if you take an OTA update, you might get your ads right back to the device. But that's going to wrap it up for me. hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give me a big thumbs up. Make a comment down below. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Root Junkie out.